Hey there guys, going to McJunk in the garage, and I thought, hey, this is kind of cool to share with you. Everyone loves playing games, but have you ever done a snappy stunt? So snappy stunts is really the response of adult games. We have lots of different games that we play today, but let's kind of go back in history. In fact, way back. Margaret Bridge was the state organizer of recreation in Illinois, and her job was to create a booklet of games in which you could play with your adult friends. That actually came out in 1920. It was called The Snappy Stunts for Social Gathering. This was a result of that book. Now, between the book and this game, there was a lot of history. In fact, these are called punch boards. Punch boards actually date back to the 18th century when tavern owners would make them from wood, carve them out, and sell opportunities to win a prize. So it's really essentially kind of like an early lotto ticket. Now fast forward to the 1900s, cardboard punch boards were very, very popular. They were introduced, um, well, across all different types of markets, usually drug stores. And in the drug store itself, you would purchase a ticket, be able to punch a hole, and you could win, usually cigarettes. Uh, for five cents, you could win 20, 40, or even 100 cigarettes. Now, in World War II, many states actually outlawed this because it was a form of gambling. Now, this one's not a form of gambling. It says, Snappy Stunts, the adult party game. In the little instructions here, it says, a punch a hole and perform as slip indicates. If one refuses, he must give a one-minute speech. So these are probably from the 1940s, but what's neat about it is on the back, you pop it open, there's a little metal piece in here. And then, you ready? This is really exciting. Because you can only do it once, because once you poke it out, then it's done. So you stick the little piece in there, and you poke out the piece of paper. Oops, drop it. And then, very small piece of paper. <laughs> and then it says, make believe you have just sat on a dozen eggs. It's gross, right? So then you play the game, and this is really a, a form of social uh, engagement within your friends, all kinds of different games. What was fun about it is it is a one-time deal. I mean, I guess I could try to sit here and fold that back up and put it in there, but I don't have time for that. But anyway, Maybe you've seen some form of punch card like this. Maybe you have one. Please comment below, share with what you've got, and we'll talk soon. Truly as the ingredients do not make the cake, so truly do not the games make, oh no, do the games not make successful social evenings. I gotta read that again.